Okay, so in honor of the Ravens just winning uh, the trip to the Super Bowl, uh, I'm going to teach you how to use the auto-digitizing wizard in Masterworks to digitize the Ravens logo. Um, now, first thing we need is the Ravens logo. We can't digitize it without a picture of it first. Um, and the best way to get a logo of just about anything or a picture of just about anything you want to digitize is to use Google's image search. So open up your web browser. Here's my web browser uh, with Google's homepage, google.com. Up, and what you want to do is click on uh, on this header bar here. You want to click on images. And what I want you to search for to get this particular logo is Ravens logo large and then the letters jpg and that's the type of file that we're looking for is a jpg file or a jpeg um, and then hit enter and it'll search and you should come up with these tiles here that show you the different search results and exactly what we're looking for is an image this image or an image just like it where the colors are clearly defined the resolution, which it says the resolution here, 620 by 349, that's the re resolution. That's um, on the low end of how big we're looking for. So if you want to search around and find one that has a higher resolution, you can. Uh, I know that this one will work pretty well, though. So anyway, when you find the one that you're going to digitize, and uh, we want a white background also, clear, defined colors, no shadows out here. We don't want to see any shadows. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use this one. Uh, you can use another one if you find one you think is better uh, but so I'm gonna click on this here's my image uh, and what I want to do is save this image so depending on what browser you're using the the way that it the wording might be a little bit different but generally right click on it and whatever looks like it means for you to save the image in, in Google Chrome that I, like what I'm using it's pretty clear save image as so I hit save image as and I need to find where I want to put I'm gonna put this in my folder and I actually already downloaded this one here so but I uh, hit save and it'll save it now I already saved mine like I said so I hit save you don't have to hit cancel yours will close automatically I had already saved it so now we have the image saved now we need to know where we saved that image to so that we can find it when we go back to masterworks here um, but the way you get to your auto digitizing wizard is under these tabs up here at the top you go to tools and this one right here says auto digitizing wizard we're gonna left click on that select image and you need to go to wherever you saved your image so you may have saved it to your downloads folder or you know wherever go to wherever that is select the image that you want to down that you want to auto digitize which is our Ravens logo we downloaded hit open then say uh, on this dialog box hit next leave all this the way it is unless you want to specify a certain width um, but remember it's going to be in millimeters so if, uh, 100 millimeters is about four inches that's a good size for this so I'm just going to hit next but if you want to change your size here's the way you can do it so you wanted to make it bigger or smaller or whatever you want to do with it hit next this shows us what colors it's found just hit next here um, this shows us the outlines that it sees. Now, here's an important step. For this particular image, we want to select Fill Background Color Area with Stitches. And the reason for that is that the beak and then the highlighting around on the B here is white, and our background is also white. So if we don't fill the background color area with stitches, we won't get any stitches in the beak or around the B. And what we'll have to do is delete the background that gets digitized along with the rest of this design. Um, but otherwise, you click this and then hit next. All right, and just leave all these the way that the defaults leave them, and say and and click finish. And your computer will think about it for a minute, and up will pop our design. Now, see it's digitized the white area in the background here, and we don't want that. Um, we only did that so that it would digitize this white and this white here. So we left click off of our design so that nothing is highlighted and then left click somewhere in this background area where we want to get rid of. Left click and that will highlight just this background area 
and then press your delete key on your keyboard delete okay there it is that's it there's my logo now as you can see it's not digitized perfectly but it's not going to digitize it perfectly when you auto digitize so if you want this to look perfect you're gonna have to uh, learn to digitize by hand and I'll be doing more and more videos on hand digitizing uh, in the coming days and weeks uh, when I keep updating my my um, YouTube channel here but it's pretty good for about you know 30 seconds of work um, and this same process can be used to digitize all sorts of, of logos the the key is that it has to be clean relatively large um, there can't be any shadows it's got to be very clearly defined colors um, but I mean this would sell out and people would know that it's the Ravens logo you know so here to save my design just like any other design I go up here to my uh, my little magic masterworks ball up at the top choose save as I'll save it as Ravens logo and again I'm gonna first save it as a BLF file here okay and if you don't know why I'm saving it as a BLF or working file go watch my what is a working file video so save and then back up save as change it to PES I'm gonna use version 9 and hit save again and now I can transfer the design to my sewing machine and celebrate the Ravens being in the Super Bowl by sewing out uh, Ravens logos all over everything. Just don't sell it to anybody because then you could get in big trouble. But you're allowed to give it away. At least I think you're allowed to give it away. Best probably not to let the NFL know you're sewing it out in general or that I just told you how to do it. Um, so barring any legal action, I'll see you in the next video.